Okay, for all of you who are new here, my name is Ethan. Make sure to check my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. Uh, we are currently live on YouTube and Twitch, so wherever you are, make sure you're following and subscribing if you want to stay up to date with all the latest information. Available on my website, I have a Discord. Make sure to join the Discord. It's completely free. We'll never charge you for money. That's scummy. Completely free. Um, and again, the link's also available in my description on YouTube and on my Twitch page somewhere if you look for it. Um, yeah, so we're going to get hop into our next company, another great one, another blue chip company. We're going to be moving into Citibank. And again, we are just going chronologically through my bullish charts channel on the Discord. We just covered set. We just covered Netflix. That's when we just did. And then right under it, July 18th, 2022. What were we talking about? Citigroup. Love this company. Um absolutely love this company so what were maybe some of the reasons that this company might have piqued our interest well again it's a blue chip company it's a household name it's some, something we've all heard of they're widely known very household name let's look at the objective set of indicators that we consistently apply to every company it is that we look at here on this channel you know we're not getting all emotional like oh th this company makes my favorite product or Oh, I like this product that they released. Like this car has a comfy seat in it. No, no. Um, so right here we have the MACD oversold. This represents a buy signal. RSI oversold touching that 30. That is a buy signal. Sentiment low. You want to be getting in before the hype. You want to be getting in before the product releases. You want to be getting in before the headlines, right? You, you don't want to be waking up in the morning, looking at your phone, seeing that CNBC is saying, uh, new phones being released today and then buying after that. You want to be buying two, two weeks ago when it was rumored that a phone release could be coming and then watching your investment fly when the product is announced and subsequently released, right? Sentiment. And again, we were talking about that 7 18 2022. Everyone has the ability to use these stock bot commands in the Discord. So if you want to tinker around with the the bot and it, it can do a lot of things from stock flow to balance sheets cash flow and all of you have access to this income statement it's pretty pretty cool um okay so let's pull it up in trading view here right city group boom so you know this this chart that we pull up in discord really doesn't do it as much justice as uh one of my trading view charts that you would see here on my streams can really do uh, as you can see, we clearly have an uptrending price channel, right? Higher lows over time, higher highs over time, increase in buying power. Here's the RSI, which we just showed you on the Discord chart. Very cool. And again, we, we were talking about it in July. Here's July, right? Boom, July 5th. Since then, if you would have been buying when we were talking in Discord from July, it ran up as much as 18% came down to test the weekly 20 as the support it is acting as the support as it should right and should continue to act as the support moving forward um as you can see right here we, we just showed you this uh reaction to the specific technical indicator on netflix right how the 20 it gets used as the support boom 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 and you see the same thing here in citigroup 20 being used as the support so every time this company touches that weekly 20, you might want to be adding shares, right? Now, where do we project this company to be going over long periods of time? As you can see, with the trend resistance represented by this red line, we could expect Citigroup to grow as much as 88%. Yes, that's 88%. And again, we are looking at a weekly chart. Always make sure we are looking at the time frames right up here. You can see this W stands for weekly. That means each one of the candles represented on this chart is representing one week's worth of time. So... This one might actually produce your profits sooner rather than later to compared to some of the monthly charts we, we were looking at, right? This is a weekly chart, so it might come a little quicker. You can expect roughly this 80% to happen within the next year to year and a half. What are some of the more fundamental sides of this company? Well, they seem to consistently hit earnings every time. Go figure, a bank knows how to hit earnings. Good job, and manage money, good job. Uh, another thing they have going for them is their dividend yield. They have a 4.03% dividend. That is huge, right? That is the na the national average, that two to 3% is a 4%. Very solid, we'd like to see that. I'd hate to be a bear trying to go against that, having to pay out that 4%. How often is it paid? Let's see here. 
one, two, three, quarterly, quarterly, quarterly div. Very cool, very cool. Under that, we have our income statements, right? In 2017, they had a profit margin of negative 7.74. Okay. How have they done since then? Well, in 2018, they had a profit margin of 18.25%. 18.25. That's huge. In 2019, they had a profit margin of 18.62. In 2020, they had a profit margin of 12.34. And in 2021, they had a profit margin of 27.19%. That's huge. 27%, guys. That's probably one of the best profit margins we have seen all day from any company we've covered. Very solid. Um, if we want to get a little more fundamental... I, I, I would say that City currently offers one of the best credit cards in the game. If you know anything about credit and credit cards, um, some of your best credit cards to have are your cash back credit cards. And City offers a 2% cash back credit card, which is one of the most competitive uh, cards you can possibly get from any credit card provider. Some cards will do like 1%, some cards will do like 1.5, some cards will do like rotating categories, which I hate because the rotating categories you have to manually go in every quarter and activate it. Annoying. Um, on top of that, the category that it might be might be a category that you don't use. Like let's say it's for restaurants and you don't go to restaurants. Let's say you cook at home and you usually use your credit card for like gas or like maybe video games or like clothing or that means that whole quarter of that year, it, that card's literally useless to you. It doesn't matter that it offers 5% on restaurants because you don't go to restaurants. So to cash back on every purchase is typically the way you want to lean. The only companies that offer a 2% cash back credit card are City uh, and PayPal. And PayPal, eh. I'd rather get a credit card from a bank, right? You know, like Citigroup, right? Not an internet company. But they both kind of have their pros and cons. What's nice about Citi is when you use their cash back, right? You can um, basically it just builds up over time. Easy, right? And when you want to claim it, you can literally send it right to your bank account. You're not redeeming it for gift cards. You're not redeeming it for statement credit. You can literally, they will send you a direct deposit to your bank account for that money that you saved. Every, everyone's out here trying to figure out how they can scalp a penny out of like some random shady penny stock company when they literally could just be applying for a city credit card and saving 2% on every purchase. So city, great company. Again, we talked about them in the discord. They are growing. It was 718. currently up over 12 percent it expected to run as much as 88 percent touching that 87 dollar maybe even that 90 dollar price point given the right amount of time and yeah highly recommend it i think from there we will jump into the next company